The CSIRO has started the first stage of trials on two potential vaccines for COVID-19. The initial tests are underway at the Australian Animal Health Laboratory in Geelong, where ferrets are being injected with the vaccines. The animals will be exposed to the virus about four weeks later. Director of Health at the agency, Dr Rob Grenfell, says scientists have carried out a year's work of research in the space of a few months. The work that we're doing is very important, um, I guess sequentially, uh, I cannot uh, overemphasise the need for us to maintain our social distancing, uh, to also uh, assist in the, the home quarantining and the uh, continued washing of our hands uh, that in fact actually is very, very important in slowing the increase of rates so that our healthcare system can cope. The vaccines themselves, we're still looking at around about uh, 18 months before we'll be able to administer these across the community. What I am pleased to say is that uh, what we've been able to do since since January to now normally takes a year or so. So to give you an idea of the haste and speed we're working on, we um, actually have been working with CEPI, that's the Coalition of uh, Epidemic Preparedness Innovations for the last four years actually. And we had uh, prior to even this outbreak been preparing a way of producing um, a platform to evaluate potential vaccine candidates. So I, I guess the timing was, um, was was perfect to occur before that. So from January, we uh, obviously upped the ante on doing this. The virus appears. We actually worked out and validated the platform. Now, the WHO with CEPI have been looking at the candidates that they have uh, in their compendium as to which ones were ready to move into uh, this testing at this stage. So. Uh, their experts made the decisions on which ones would come forward for us to start the testing. And uh, we've already immunised the animals that are actually moving into these studies um, as we speak. These two samples are on what we call tried and, and, and proven um, structures for vaccines to work. One is on uh, what's called a, uh, a vector-based uh, vaccine, and these have been used uh, in other uh, effective vaccine models um, already. And the other one is a, a DNA recombinant one, which again has also been used effectively in um, uh, widely used um, uh, human vaccines. So one, we validated the uh, ferret model to uh, be able to to demonstrate this infection and being able to measure how the infection occurs. We have uh, commenced the immunisation of uh, our test animals and we have to wait a three week period, obviously, um, as you do with any immunisation so that it's actually uh, demonstrated to have taken a hold and to be working. We then expose those animals to, uh, to the virus and we will be monitoring along that process uh, as to uh, how uh, the vaccines have been performing in the way that uh, the infection pr progresses or doesn't progress and in particular whether or not they are shedding virus. And these results will come to us uh, over the period uh, of uh, May and, and towards the end of June, we'll obviously have our definitive uh, results. Uh, we, we're involved in the preclinical component to developing vaccines, and we're aware that uh, uh, certainly the Oxford one is uh, already doing preliminary work on what's called phase one human trials. And uh, we had heard um, that uh, they may be considering starting late April, May, and that'll be on the merits of our study and also another uh, animal study that's been conducted uh, overseas so that uh, they can actually <clears throat> be uh, uh, confident that it's actually not going to cause any harm. So phase one studies in humans are generally there to demonstrate it does not cause harm. Phase two, which is the uh, larger scale studies that follow that, are uh, generally to look at that the vaccine works in humans. So our work's important to demonstrate safety and uh, efficiency in working as a vaccine.